What's up everybody welcome back to the channel uh, today just like the title says I'm gonna come clean with you guys as to what's been going on with my Q60 unfortunately there have been a couple of instances where the car had to be uh, parked for quite some time so we're gonna talk about that in a little bit but before we do that we're gonna roll that intro real quick <laughs> Back in October, I believe it was October, I can't remember off the top of my head, we were at NIS, NIS Fest. So on our way home, um, unfortunately on the 210 freeway between Sierra and Baldwin Avenue, um, I did not know about it, but a bunch of people on the forums, on group chats and so forth have mentioned it before, there was a huge pothole. It's not, uh, I shouldn't call it a pothole because it seemed like they tried to fix it, but didn't, it wasn't fixed correctly. So. All you have is a bunch of waves in the ground where there are sharp edges, round edges, and so forth. Because of that, it caused a huge damage to my front right, uh, right wheel. We'll get a little bit more into that, and I'll show you guys a, a real quick clip while I'm uh, describing the damage to you guys. Now, because of the damage, the wheel does shake a little bit, depending on the speed that I go at. Uh, for whatever reason, it caused it to shake, but you know, I've contacted the right authorities to go ahead and get that fixed. Hopefully they'll replace it for me. Uh, I believe it falls under the jurisdiction of Caltrans District 7, which is LA County and Ventura, but they haven't responded to me yet, unfortunately. Um, now, a little time after that, I don't know how to describe it. I was on my way to work, and for whatever reason, as I was slowing down, I heard a little bit of a click or what sounded like a wheel rubbing on the inside of the wheel well. I thought it was because I was too low and I tried raising it. Now, as soon as I was turning into the driveway, what sounded like metal essentially rubbing up against each other turned out to be my rod bearings. Now, as soon as I pulled up, one of the technicians flagged me down and said, hey, you got to turn off the car right now. And I did. Unfortunately, as soon as we took it inside, we pushed it in just not to cause more damage. Uh, they took, uh, took the engine down and came to find out that unfortunately it was the raw bearings on the car and for whatever reason they decided to give out. Now, I don't know what caused this issue because I'm not one for uh, slamming on the car too much, but uh, it happened, unfortunately. Uh, things like this happen. Unknown to me, I believe that uh, my warranty had a little bit of time left. Now, come to find out that my warranty had expired back in March. And uh, for good reasons and bad reasons, you know, Infinity decided to help me out a little bit, but I still had to come out of pocket about five to $6,000 to get the engine replaced. Now, the engine replacement has caused some of the modifications that have been done to the car to be removed. Uh, just because putting it back on right away may cause more damage to the new engine. So we haven't put any of the modifications that I have for my AMS performance back onto the vehicle. Now, it's gotten about 2,500 miles since I've replaced the engine. However, I want to be able to do at least one or two oil changes before I can put back that, uh, those modifications back into the vehicle. Now, it's not much, but at the end of the day, you know, it is my car, it's been my baby. I've loved this car from day one, back in 2017. As soon as the vehicle was announced, you know, I had to get one. But now, that being said, you know, one thing I can recommend to everybody is make sure you guys, you know, check out your warranty history. Make sure your warranty information is correct and up to date. And so that, you know, if something like this happens, you don't have to be like me and come out of pocket. 
Now, Infinity did decide that they were going to cover a large amount of that, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I did mention that I had to come out about five to six thousand dollars in order to get the engine replaced. That five to six thousand dollars included uh, labor and some of the parts and the turbos, of course. Now, when the engine does blow, they do recommend replacing the turbos just because the last thing you want is to have metal shavings in the turbos. When we did take down the engine, which I will show you here right now, uh, when we took down the engine, we noticed that there was a little bit of metal shavings in the turbos. And because of that, we had to get the new turbos. Now, the previous turbos were Honeywell turbos. These are the Garretts, I believe, and the technician did confirm that they are the Garretts. But if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me on the video. Now, I have noticed a little bit of difference as far as the way the car performs with the Garretts. It is a lot smoother, pickup is better. Um, now, turbo noise is a lot more significant, I can say, especially if you have intakes and all that good stuff you will be able to hear the turbo spool up. Now, one of the things I do also want to mention when it comes to these VR30 motors is, especially if you have it modified, but you haven't touched the engine as far as rods, pistons, or anything like that, make sure you do your, some of your oil changes at the dealership because at the end of the day, if something happens and you still have warranty and you have no you know, service history to show for it, unfortunately, you know, you're going to be looked at a little bit differently because you know, on paper, it doesn't show that you're taking care of your vehicle. Now, having these oil changes or some of these maintenances done at the dealership does help you when it comes to getting warranty done on the vehicle. And that's, that's one of the things that you want to look out for. Now, going back to the wheels. Now, I have reached out to Ferrara and asked them how much a replacement will be to get this wheel replaced right over here. And I got an invoice of about $700. To me, it's not about the dollar amount, it's doing the right thing and getting the right coverage on the wheel. So like I said, I did reach out to uh, Caltrans. I sent them the form, sent them pictures, sent them dash cam footage showing that where exactly the incident happened. So I am waiting on the letter. One of the things that I attached to that letter was a additional form where I stated that I would give them 30 days. Now the 30 days have been way past and there are other avenues that I can explore, which I am exploring. However, I, as I said in the beginning of the video or in the middle of the video, I will give them until the end of December before I make a decision. Now, one of the other things that I do also want to mention is that I believe personally that the channel deserves a new car. Now there's a couple of options, maybe a few options. I'll mention a few and I'll leave out a few. One of those options is of course the Audi RS6 Avant which my wife absolutely hates and says it shouldn't be a choice. However, it is one of my top choices. Now, one of the other choices that I do also have is the BMW M3 or M3 Touring. Uh, there are avenues of getting that vehicle, which I've talked to a few people, but I wanna know what you guys' thoughts are. Should we get a new car and what should that new car be? Whether it should be another coupe, sedan, SUV, whatever it is, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the uh, comments below because at the end of the day, without you guys, you know, this channel wouldn't exist. I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Now, one of the other things that I do also want to mention is the podcast, Cars and Chatter. Uh, we haven't posted a new episode in a month or two. Reason being is because we decided to take some time off, relax, you know, spend some more extra time with our families. But we are getting back into the podcast. We are getting more, uh, you know, guests to come on to the show. So make sure you, you guys take a look out for those. And if you haven't subscribed to those channels on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any of the other uh, stations that you guys use to listen to these podcasts, make sure you do because it helps, helps us out tremendously. Also, if you have any suggestions or if you want to hear about a subject on the podcast, we want to know about it as well. If you have a special idea as far as what guests should be next, let us know. We'll reach out to them, we'll invite them, and hopefully, you know, they'll join us on the podcast. But again, this goes back to making sure that each and every one of you subscribe to the channel, liking these videos, commenting below, sharing them, because at the end of the day, the YouTube algorithm wants to see this. Because at the end of the day, if we don't have likes, subscribers, uh, share count, commenting, we won't be able to provide you guys with these videos. These 
four or five simple things help us out tremendously, tremendously to get us more viewers, to get us more subscribers, and allowing us to make more videos for you. That being said, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and comment below if you have any thoughts as to what you wanna see on the channel more, what car we should get, and so forth. Thank you everybody again for tuning in. See you guys on the next video. And Sam, behind the camera, thank you for your help.